there, it's Jackie Mumford, the Mableton Real Estate Maven, and today I am back with the update for a Mableton neighborhood where you live. Um, I've got a couple neighborhoods that I like to talk about today. Actually, it's two neighborhoods and then a part of Mableton that's actually not in the subdivision statistics that I want to share with you. Um, a lot of times you'll see my video updates about what's going on in Mableton or something that's popular that uh, buyers and sellers have asked me about or something that I want to discuss. Um, and But I don't normally talk about homes that are not in a subdivision, so I wanted to make sure I cover that with you today. So the two subdivisions that uh, we've got market updates for right now is we've got Shannon Glen, which is located in Mableton just off of Nickajack Road. Um, Nickajack Road is going to be between be between Fontaine Road and Floyd Road. Um, kind of if you're familiar with the area near Floyd Road, they've got the Kroger, the Aldi's. It has a couple banks. It has the Kroger, the McDonald's, and so that cross street is Nickajack Road. So going down Nickajack Road to the east, you'll run into Shannon Glen. Glenn. Um, currently, right now, October 2014, we're looking at five homes that are competing for sale with each other. The average is going to be a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, two-story. Um, we're looking at a 1985 to 1984, uh, or 1984 to 1985 year built for the homes in there. And your average active home price right now is $200,600. $200,600 is your average list price for the homes that are competing in there. Um, we also have two uh, pending properties. Um, in there right now four bedrooms three and a half baths is the average also built in 1984 um, the average pending price or the average list price for a pending in there a pending is a house that's under contract where you've had a buyer and a seller come to terms on price and other agreement in a, and in the agreement um, and um, but you're still waiting to go through the escrow process so we call that pending or under contract or in contract properties and that list price is two hundred twenty eight thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars as an average price and then year to date for October 2014 we're looking at nine sold homes in Shannon Glen and that's for a four bedroom one and a half bath built in 1984 and that average list price that for our average sales price is two hundred ten thousand forty seven dollars with a sales price Price to list price ratio of 95.31%, meaning sellers are negotiating a little bit more than 4% to get their homes sold. Um, and the average days on market, meaning how long it takes to get a house sold from the time that it's listed to when it's under contract, we're looking at 50 days. Um, our next property is going to be the uh, retreat at Old Vinings Lake. That property is a very nice property. Um, it was built by Trayton Homes. Your average year built in there is going to be around 2002. The neighborhood is located on in Mableton on Cooper Lake Road. Um, near, the closest major intersection is going to be Veterans Memorial. And it's kind of a cut through from South Cobb to, uh, to, to like the... To, I guess West Cobb or East Cobb, um, or going towards East Cobb from the Veterans Memorial to Cooper Lake Road, through Cooper Lake Road to the East West Connector. It's a very nice community. Um, in there right now, there's eight active home sales, four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story homes on slab is your average product in there, built in 2002. Um, and your average list price for those competing homes, there's eight of them, um, is going to be $287,475. And they've had 22 homes sell in that neighborhood. And that's one of the largest um, transactions um, numbers in, in the neighborhood the neighborhoods that have uh, maybe a larger sale that occurs every year would be Vinans Estates um, and you may have seen me cover some videos on that I do have a couple for that particular neighborhood if you like the updates on those let me know um, but there were 22 that sold in this particular neighborhood. Four bedroom, three and a half bath. It was the average type home on slab that sold there, built in 2002. And the average sales price is around 270000 So for the active homes, again, you're looking at an average sales price of 287. And then again, we're looking for the average sold price in there at 270000 Sellers are getting roughly 95% of what they're asking for in as little as 109 days. So that neighborhood has a pretty good amount of uh, turnover. It's pretty soft in values um, and um, it's a nice little community it's built by Trayton Homes they're they're still building you can go to their website Trayton T-R-A-T-O T-R-A-T-O-N dot com or T 
T-R-A-T-O in homes.com. I don't get paid for them for any acknowledgement or anything, but you can go on there and check out floor plans and things because it is a, a builder that still is in business. Um, and then I wanted to talk to you about the houses that are not in subdivisions. A lot of times they kind of get thrown in the mix of things for the general overall market view for Atlanta. And these are going to be homes that are not built in subdivisions that someone bought a property on land and decided to build on, you know, years ago or just even recently. Um, sometimes they're, they may even be out parcels of a subdivision sitting like on a kind of an outside of it, but not technically inside a subdivision. And so those numbers um, are going to be skewed to be a little bit older. So for homes in Mableton year to date that have not, that are not in subdivisions, there are 25 homes that are competing with each other. Your average is going to be a three bedroom, two and a half bath home built in 1969 with an average list price of 154000 924. Um, you have three pending sales currently in Mableton and for a three bedroom, three and a half bath built in 1973 with an average list price of $288,000. Um, so those are, those are for the, again, for the properties that are not in subdivisions. And then finally, for those homes that are not in subdivisions that are, um, that have sold year to date for October, 2014, we're looking at 25 sold homes, um, roughly on average, there are three bedrooms, two and a half bath, built in 1964, with an average sales price of $114,224, with the sellers roughly receiving about 91% of their asking price and selling in as little as 57 days. So there's a brief overview of what's going on here in the market for the Shannon Glen and the um, the uh, uh, retreated Old Vining's Lake subdivision, as well as sub for houses that are not in subdivisions. If you have any questions about the Mableton area, the values, or if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the area, let me know. I'm here to help you. Um, you can visit my website below at www.gotmableton.com, and there I have a series of videos and articles about Mapleton that will help you make a buying or selling decision in this area. So thanks for, so much for watching, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.